Okay, hello. We wish to. It's me, Jacob. Now I know what you're saying. Jacob, what are you doing in the minivan? <laughs> well, I got some terribly exciting news. Safety first, by the way. I know what you're thinking. Jacob, why are you putting on your safety harness? Well, because I'm going to be driving the minivan. Don't tell Showtime. This is my neighbor's minivan. My buddy, Showtime, he's a radio clown. I'm going to be taking him to some rodeos this summertime. So he says that I can drive him in the minivan. Oh, I see it starts. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. That's got lots of par. Woo. What kind of music is he listening to? Some kind of rock and roll. Okay. We're rocking out. We're ready to rock and roll. Okay. I better turn that down now. I don't know if I can concentrate on my driving <laughs> with that hippity hop rock and roll music going. Okay, let's see here now. There's a gear shifter here. We got the. Okay, that's rock and roll. Got. Where's your light switches? My LED light switch, I usually hide underneath my seat, but okay, maybe it's this light bulb. Oh, I see, we're ready to go now. So anyways, here's the situation. My buddy Showtime, he's going to a bunch of radios this year, and he says to me, hey, Jacob, all the people like when you go visit me to the radio, do you want to come along? And I says, okay, that sounds like a terribly good time. So... He says to me, if I help with the driving, he'll pay me some money to go visit to the rodeo. Hi, <laughs> see, Bill. I says to him, okay, what's this here? We got a situation. I says to him, Bill, the bishop dares and find out I'm driving a vehicle. <laughs> but he says, Bill Jacob, it's a lot of money I'm gonna pay you. And I says, Bill, but the bishop don't know, won't hurt him. Okay, hello. That's my other neighbor. I see, I hope he don't tell the bishop I'm driving Showtime's minivan. This thing's got all kinds of horsepower. So anyways, we're gonna be at Shippensburg, Pennsylvania this Saturdays for the Bull Ride Mania. It's gonna be so much fun. So this Saturdays, we're gonna be at Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. And then I'm gonna go to New York. I don't believe it's in the city. It's some place called Fonda, I believe. Fonda, New York for an APRA rodeo. I see. 50 cent Frosties. Okay. I'm terribly sorry I got distracted. I gotta make a stop here. I believe it's a red light. I believe you can just go at your own risk. Okay, here. So this sign says they got Frosties for 50 cents. I gotta see what this is all about. Okay, Wendy's quality is our recipe. Okay, there's some people at the hotel looking at me. <laughs> okay, hello. They act like they've never seen an Amish man. Haven't you ever seen an Amish man driving a minivan before? Okay, this old lady wants to get run over. Hurry it up there, Ruth. It's not my wife, Ruth. She just looks like a Ruth. She's going terribly slow. Okay, let's see how this works here. I never went through the drive through in a minivan. I barely drove a minivan before, let alone go through the drive-thru. There's a, a Chevrolet Equinox LT in front of me. I don't know what that even means, but clearance, nine feet. I see. I hope we're under nine feet. I don't even know what size this is. Okay, we're going to pull up here and see what the issue is. Okay, they're still ordering. This guy doesn't know what he wants. He's leaning around looking to the back. I believe he has some children. I can't hardly see because it's got tinted windows. Now he's staring at me. You want a picture? <laughs> oh, I see. I guess it's not every day. You see, my beard's all cattywampus there. It's all stribbled up. So anyways, so we're going to be at Shippensburg, Pennsylvania this Saturday is for the Bull Ride Mania. And then we're going to be in Fonda, New York for the APRA Rodeo. We're going to be in Crownsville, Maryland. 
We're gonna go, where else are we gonna go? Oh, I see we're going to Sewerville, Tennessee. It's near Pigeon Forge. Maybe we'll see Dolly Parton or Johnny Cash down there. Oh, I see, that'll be so much fun. Okay, where else are we gonna be? We're gonna be in Sand Lake, Michigan. Uh, Michigan, whew, it's terribly cold up there. I'm gonna have to take my long underpants. Where else are we gonna be? We're gonna be in Martinsburg, West Virginia. We're gonna be in Butler, Pennsylvania. Charlottesville, Pennsylvania. We got so many stops in Pennsylvania. Showtime's gonna let me do a lot of the driving in Pennsylvania since it's kinda like my hometown. <laughs> Not really my hometown, my home state, if you know what I mean. So anyways, what's taking this lady so long, or man? I don't know, it's either a man with a ponytail or a lady. And if it's a man with a ponytail, maybe that's the issue. Oh, I see, put that up in a man bun. She's ordering for, I don't know, there's only a, two people in there. How long does it take to place your order? All I want is a Frosty. We're sitting here in the drive through for 22 minutes, it feels like. I hope we don't run out of diesel fuel. Oh, I see, look at this. Showtime even has some money here. Okay, take your time there, Sally. Or, or Benjamin, or whatever your name is. Chuck, or Larry, or Jakey. This lady's too impatient she just drove right out around okay here we go it's about time it's about time okay, take your order, please. okay hello uh you still have the frosties for 50 cents yep the small one okay i'll have two of them two vanilla frosties okay anything else that should be everything all right, 106, second window, please. Thank you. Okay, thank you. That lady was terribly friendly. Second window. Okay, not the first window then. I gotta see here what's going on. She was so nice. She acted like we were best friends. So they're only small size, but still, for 50 cents, you can't hardly beat that. Gotta take two of them here. Gotta dig through the quarters. 25, 50. Did she say 106? What's the issue? I thought they says it was only, I'm not too terribly good at math, but there's, okay, we got the change right here. Okay, it says, please drive ahead. Your order is vaning for you. Okay, well, I can't drive ahead. There's a vehicle in front of me. They should have thought that one through. She looks terribly friendly too. Oh, I see. Now I know why everybody's always playing on their smartphones while they're driving. When I'm in my buggy, I'd be halfway to town by now. Okay, it's about time. I hear a helicopter. Okay, how are you? How are you? Good. It's a dollar six. There you go. Thank Don't you. tell my neighbor I borrowed his mini okay? <laughs> That's not good. He won't know. Ah, <laughs> see, are there police around here? There better be. Have a good day. You too, take care. Oh, I see, now this lady's telling me there's some police around here. We gotta get back to the house. I was gonna, hey, there's a, there's a helicopter, maybe that is the police. We gotta hammer down, get out of here. If the police is after us, we gotta get back to Showtime's house terribly quickly here. So, Okay, but anyways, I wanted to tell you everywhere I was going to be, but now I'm terribly worried there's going to be a policeman coming, so... I see, here comes a policeman now. Okay, nothing to see here. Of course, we got a red light here now. Hopefully, they don't recognize me with the sunglasses on. Okay, well, anyways, this is checkup. Remember to come see me this Saturdays at the... Oh, I gotta get out of here. This Saturdays at the Shippensburg area fairgrounds for Bull Ride Mania. And then Fonda, New York for the APRA rodeo in a couple of weeks. And then after that, I don't know, Vera, we'll keep you posted. But I gotta get back here to the house. Oh, I see we're going 92. This goes terribly fast. This is Jacob. We'll speak at you later.